everybody! How are you doing? Today, let's make some summer side dish made with perilla leaves. You know about these leaves? Perilla leaves. These days, very peak season. If you follow my recipe for years, probably you know that. Actually, around like almost 10 years ago, when I made this perilla leaves recipe, actually at that time, not many people knew about these leaves. <laughs> but in Korean cuisine, these perilla leaves, we, everybody loves these perilla leaves. In Korean, kenyi. This is a new recipe. I have never made this before. It's a kenyi jim. Jim is kind of steamed. So steamed perilla leaves. It's really, really good side dish, especially in the, during the summertime. Keep in the refrigerator for up to like one week. And then you can eat just with rice and all the time you take it out and then eat it. So it's kind of a mid banchan. Parilla leaves are a little minty. So when it's cooked, it will give herby flavor. I'm growing my parilla leaves. I'm going to show you my little garden. Tiny, tiny little garden. We need 60. 60 parilla leaves. 26 parilla leaves. I need 34 more. So I can make the 60 perilla leaves and then make a really nice side dish. You want to follow me? Let's go together. All I need is this rice. Let's go to make the kenyip jim. This my perilla leaves make me so happy these days. All during the summertime, every morning, I just go and see. So small thing makes your life really, really happy, isn't it? So all together, 60. Nice, nice, gorgeous, pretty. Okay. So now we gotta wash this. I will show you how to wash parilla leaves. Wash. Each leaf and between the leaf and just a, a little bit of like a rubbing like this and wash. This homegrown perilla leaves are very clean. I don't have to really wash a lot, but still we gotta wash. One more time, three times wash. Now we gotta make some seasoning sauce. Seasoning sauce, what should I use first? Garlic. Garlic, two cloves of garlic. Mince this. And two green onions. An onion, I'm using a lot of onion, around one cup. For 60, 60 perilla leaves, I will add 2 tablespoons soy sauce and fish sauce, fish sauce 1 tablespoon. If you are vegetarian, just skip the fish sauce, add 3 tablespoons soy sauce instead of 2 tablespoons. Hot pepper flakes, 2 teaspoons. Sesame oil, 1 tablespoon. Sesame seeds, so one tablespoon is enough. And then, and then three tablespoons water. What do you think this tastes like? Yummy. 
So I just mix this. And then what I'm going to do is just, uh, this is uh, my shallow small pan. And then I will just add this as so about half amount and put it here. So from the bottom, so bottom two, like this. And put it here just a little bit, around one teaspoon, like this. And two more. It doesn't have to be really evenly spread because it's going to be cooked anyway. Before putting this, quickly, let's just organize one more time. So, this way. So see, from here, we start again. Sauce. Now this is nice, gorgeous, isn't it? So all the each, every other leaf is just filled with this nice, delicious seasoning. Let's cook. Over medium high heat, three minutes cook. Three minutes passed and turn off. And then wait for three minutes. I'm making my doenjang jjigae. Doenjang jjigae. When I went to Korea, the, you know the, my uh, video, some Gosari Namul. I just filmed this in the temple, Gounsa temple, and then I met nun Wonhe, Wonhe, and then she gave to me some the little amount of doenjang. I all the way I brought home, really really tasty. Whenever I make doenjang jjigae, I think about her. <laughs> Three minutes passed. Let's see. Wow. Gorgeous looking gennip jim. Three minutes over medium high heat with cover and then just turn off and then let it cook with the heat. Three minutes. Three, three policy. <laughs> this is my airtight container and put this thing here. So we didn't add any sugar here because I used a lot of onion, so chopped onion. Onion makes it so sweet. When it's cool down and cover and keep in the refrigerator. I feel like eating outside my patio because today is a kind of weather is a, you know really nice weather and was usually like a summertime is so hot but today is a little cool and also not sunny today. If it's sun, too much sun, and then I gotta wear sunglasses and, and head, you know, too much. So, let's go. This is my kimchi. Kimchi, japchae, and I'll bring more. My rice, multigrain rice, and this is japchae, and this is soybean sprouts. Kimchi, this morning I made. It's a kakdugi, fermented already. It's yelmo kimchi, young reddish kimchi. Cucumber kimchi, seasoned yellow kobina. Today we made this, and parilla leaves, steamed parilla leaves, and doenjang jjigae. Yay! <laughs> First, put this rice. Just a little amount of rice on your spoon. And then, pick one or two. Put it on top like this, wrap this. What am I supposed to do? Everybody knows that. Say something. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it. Mmm. Mmm. More advanced skill. Like this. And then kick. 
make your own red with the chapsticks. Chapche. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's so cloudy today. I hope that some rain comes. I love to watch the rain. It will be really awesome, eh? So while I'm eating this and then just raining. I hope that you enjoy this recipe. Can you Jim? Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.